the roads I want to go down. Let's see. Yeah, this is one. Old Windmill Trail. I'm gonna go down as far as I think I can go on this bike. All right, I'm gonna approach cautiously because I don't know what's in here. <laughs> of course I gotta do that. I'm gonna get out of the sand though. Oh. You're gonna get out of this. There you go. <laughs> that was a little nerve wracking. Yeah, that probably wasn't too smart. So avoid the sand. Uh, okay, it's time to get that KLR 650 when I get back, I think. Another one of these. <laughs> of course I gotta do that. Alright, no sand. Feet on the pegs. There you go. Alright, hopefully this isn't a dirt road. See, like, like that. Even if I got caught in the sand, the worst thing that would happen is I would walk back to the campsite and maybe ask Mitch to help me out. <laughs> More sand. I'm being pretty stupid. Go home. That's how you handle dogs, man. Except I'll probably have to come back and face them again. Woo! I got a little adrenaline flowing right now. Woo! Okay. This is what life's about. You face situations like that, and it just... I had a lot of fun doing that, actually. Even though I was worried about it, I still had a lot of fun doing it. Alright, I'm not gonna go too much further down this road, I don't think. I don't know what I'm gonna face. Yeah, this is not a good idea. I'm gonna turn around again and face those dogs, maybe. But yeah, I mean, the big message of this video... ...is you gotta push yourself. You gotta experience new things. And I get that I'm preaching to the choir quite a bit here. Because a, a lot of you guys, you're on bikes because you're you're challenging yourself, right? But before I close out this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about Mitch. I, the reason why I like Mitch so much is because he's faced some some challenges in life, and I won't go too much into him now. Mitch is, uh, I believe Mitch is a subscriber now, so if he wanted to touch on it, he can, but he's faced some challenges in life, and he's overcome those challenges by making some huge sacrifices. Dude is happy now, you know? He's enjoying life. He's got a website now, a blog, where he's covering a lot of what he's experiencing out here. And his website, I encourage all of you to check it out, is, you're gonna laugh at this, I dig it too, in a van, down by the river, dot com. And he's got a blog up there, and at the time of me recording this video, he just he's just getting it started right now. He's got he's got the Oh, 
I gotta stand on that one. Right now he's got the living in a van down by the river sketch up there, which as a man who lives in Madison, Wisconsin, oh, this can't be good. Oh, oh geez. I'll get back to what I'm talking about in a second. nuts for being out here I know but I'm living I'm challenging myself I'm pushing my limits of both me and Rosanati <laughs> we're both unaware of, the, of what's truly in the world and unaware of our our real abilities <laughs> not to say that I'm Don Quixote but I feel like him a little bit right now and pushing my horse beyond our abilities probably. All right, things are smoothing out a bit. I'm gonna keep going a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's pretty out here. So I'm adding one extra level here to the challenge. You know, I'm, I'm looking for things to ruin my day by giving me a flat. Kind of hoping this comes out at uh, Pruitt, a city, a tiny city up there on the edge of the state park I'm staying at. I'm not sure if it will. That way I don't have to pass by those dogs again. And I don't have my phone on me so I don't know where this road comes out. Oh boy. Ugh. Random tires. <laughs> the road is actually improving as I go down it further. That's kind of funny. Oh yeah, I think this comes out at Pruitt. I bet it does. I'm gonna keep going. As much as I want to go down that road, I'm not going to. I need that KLR 650, man. Oh yeah, this is this has got to be Pruitt. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the town right. <laughs> Big pothole. Oh, slow down. I have not gotten out of first gear since I got on this road. I guess that's a good thing. Not for sale. <laughs> I wonder if they get a lot of questions about that. All right, so that's Pruitt up there. So I'm gonna keep going. See, a lot of these van life guys, they, they do what's called boondoggling. They find a spot, you know, and side of the road or next to a lake or oh, some potholes gonna stand Ugh. and they got vans or they got campers or whatever and they just camp out for the night you know for free and there's an entire culture I'll find a, a few YouTube channels that are actually hugely popular about van life, and I'll put them down below. Uh, Blue Jay? What is that? Oh, what? oh no, that's, I don't know, what that, a wren maybe? Whew. Cows must be roasting. I'm pretty warm. Which way to take? Go towards Pruitt on that road, or I could go that way. Uh, let's go this way. 
that will go back to that road that I got on this crazy road. Let's just see where this goes. Maybe I'll split this up into two videos and call half of it riding a Harley where I shouldn't. Oh boy. Yeah, I needed to stand and look at this road, man. I'm having a lot of fun, but I kind of miss the roads of Oklahoma. Those roads were nice. Except for the, the off-roading that I did. Kill my suspension. Oh, my bike's overheating a little bit. I gotta get on a road where I can ride a little faster. Cool the thing down a bit. Soda for sale. Pickles as well. Ooh, pickles. Oh, geez, big pile. I have to ask myself, would I rather ride on this road or in downtown Chicago like I did when I started this trip? <laughs> I think those are the towers that I passed earlier on the way out of the campground. further, <laughs> challenge myself a little bit more, <laughs> see where the top of this hill takes me, oh, oh, that was a bump, oh, pothole bump, all right, let's find a better spot here, that's better, oh, it's the trailhead here, man, all right, I think Might be a good time to just soak in a little bit. Maybe head that way. Ooh. Take in the sights, drink a little bit of water. Let my bike cool down a little bit. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna stop by this sign so I don't get stuck up there and hopefully not get stuck here. Right here looks like a good spot. In fact, I'm gonna put it at the edge of the road. Yeah, those are definitely the towers over by the campground that I passed earlier. And maybe I'll put the bike right here. Up a little bit. Yeah, right, right there. Hopefully that's a good spot. Let Rosanati cool down a little bit. A little hike. <laughs> I can't believe I came out all this way. On a Harley Iron 883. Holy shit, I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't come down here with my bike. Wow, it's amazing out here. Slowing down to check things out, huh?
Wow. This is really pretty up here, man. So yeah, that's Pruitt over there, beyond these trees and down this road. I'm gonna have an arrow pointing to that mountain, let you know what mountain that is. And any other one of these mountains out here, plateaus. <laughs> All these bottles is really too bad, but. chasing that train yesterday on my way to Thoreau which you can actually see off in the distance there I've got an arrow pointing to it now I'm sure tiny towns out here man I kind of wish I had a drone right now that would be amazing oh that's one of my next uh, purchases for this channel it's kind of cool out here, having a good time. So yeah, so check out Mitch's blog in a van down by the river.com. And uh, remember the central philosophy of this, of this motor vlog. Challenge yourself, man. Push yourself to the limits. Try and discover things that you thought you couldn't do and try and do them. Make yourself uncomfortable. It's where you learn about yourself. It's where you experience life. It's where you feel alive. And it makes the rest of the shit in your life, all the crap that pisses you off on a day-to-day -day basis, seem like nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm gonna head back now. I am going to Enjoy the rest of the day reading a book in my hammock. That sounds kind of mundane compared to what I'm doing now, but that's what I'm going to do. Make sure everything's okay from being in that sand. So, thanks for watching this one, everybody. If you enjoyed my craziness in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps out this channel a ton. If you're new here, or if you watched a few videos and you've enjoyed what you've seen, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And right now, being on this trip, I have no idea what my upload schedule is gonna be like. Normally it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but because I'm on the road like this, I'm in bad Wi-Fi locations, I'm not able to edit as often as I'd like, my upload schedule is not as regular. So it's really important if you wanna know when I upload videos just like this, to also click on that bell icon after you click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this, everybody. Ride safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'm gonna get back to the campsite safely. Woo! Yep, I know. It looks like a bit of fish out of water, but it's a fun challenge, man. All right, here we go.